today I'm going to be showing you how to use the while loop in Microsoft Visual C Sharp. First, open up uh, Visual Studio or Visual C Sharp and go to File, New Project. Then go to Visual C Sharp and in Windows, Windows Forms Application and rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to be using Visually Basic uh, While Loop. And then hit enter or click OK. It should load your uh, empty form. It might take a little bit. Okay, once it loads, then you then what you want to do is you want to under toolbox find text box and click and drag it onto this form. Now drag it to the other end of the form and then click it and under properties find multi-line. Click this and make it true. Now you should be able to drag it down and up and not just left and right. Drag it to about this size and then under toolbox again find button. Drag this onto the form right under the text uh, box drag it across the screen. Now, once you have it fit, click the button and under properties find text and change it to run program. Then click any uh, background part of the form and under properties find text and change form 1 to my loop. Now we have the whole part that the user is going to see done double click the run program uh, button and it should open up the coding environment what you want to type in is double number equal to zero semicolon while in parentheses number is less than ten and then go down and use this and type in number plus equals one semicolon text box one dot append text in parentheses number dot two string uh, open paren and paren plus in quotation marks backslash r backslash n uh, quotation marks in paren uh, and semicolon and then finish it off and it should look like this. The reason we use double instead of integer even though integer will work well for the 10 in case you want to change it to like like a huge number then um, then I left it as a double so you could change it without it crashing but if you were it I mean an integer will work for like a hundred thousand or one, uh, or at least like something, a small number. But the double is to there to make sure it doesn't crash if you type in, if you go crazy and type in some huge number. For now, we'll just stick with 10 and click the start debugging arrow at the top. Should load up and look something like this. Run it, and you'll see that it prints out all the way to 10. Now, to change things, you can, like I said, replace this, this 10, with let's say. Uh, a thousand. Click the start debugging arrow and run the program and it will print all the way out to a thousand starting from one. If you don't want to print it out one by one then you could change the plus equals one to plus equals uh, let's say twenty. Now when you run the program it will count by twenties. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and like I said, you can do a huge number as long as it's a double. So now we're doing a huge number, and it's going to print all the way there, even though if it was a double or if it was an integer, it would crash. So as you can see, it it runs the whole program and will um, go to huge numbers and. This is a very useful um, thing to know for almost any program. 
if you want to have something do something um, constantly or for a while over and over again this is definitely a, a necessity yeah so this is the while loop in visual c sharp for more tutorials or information about visually basic please visit www.visuallybasic.com